Uh, I'm Robert Kubica. I'm from Poland. Uh, I'm. I look a bit older than I am actually. I'm. I'm 25. <laughs> I look. I look probably like 36. <laughs> so uh, I'm uh, Louis Deletras. I'm 24, and uh, I'm the teammate of those two beautiful gents. Hi guys, it's Ife, uh, part of uh, Team WRT Orland, teammates of Louis and uh, Robert. How old are you? Did you say? Yeah, yeah. 20, 21. Yeah, young, young, young. young. Yeah. Only five years younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> so, we to describe the first time we talked about the Ilmes project. So, I think it was uh, in Bodur, in Belgium, yeah? Yeah, in a nice factory of WRT. First reaction, very disappointed. <laughs> no, it was good news. Uh, I mean, for sure, big name and uh, experienced, and you know, it's always. Uh... No, I mean it. I mean it. So for me, it was good news, and uh, I mean, I think uh, you never know before starting the result, but it was a good year so far. And then we know that we will be watched uh, because thanks to his popularity around the world. So. So I, I, you have more followers, thanks to me. <laughs> but, but actually, I'm not social, so I couldn't uh, support you with a lot of followers. When was your first time in endurance racing and in LMP2? So Actually, the first time in LMP2 I drove was, uh, was testing uh, for Dallara in 2015, 16, something like this. But I did one day in Monza, uh, but the yeah, first race was Daytona and the first ELMS was uh, Barcelona this year. So, uh, as I'm young, uh, not a lot of experience. Uh, you're the rookie this year, you're very... Well, I'm very <laughs> rookie. <laughs> and you, Yife? So, uh, first time will be uh, this year, earlier in Asian Le Mans series in Dubai. Uh, I had my first time in the car and first race there. Uh, yeah, luckily, unfortunately, we, we managed to win. Uh, my, I, my managed, I win, managed to win my uh, outright first championship in sports car and LMP2. And yeah, then uh, next good thing happened is we I managed to team up with Louis and uh, Robert for the LMS season. So you see, you see, he is double champion yes, already this year. And imagine, imagine uh, we finish Le Mans. Triple. Triple. Triple crown. <laughs> Triple crown in one year. Pam, pam, pam. How is the relationship between us and do you see each other outside of the track? Any activities? So I start because actually I, I, I said to him, uh, to Louis yesterday on the way I have to do chauffeur. Uh, and I say, well, it's good we have not so many races because I will not support you. More, more than this. <laughs> oh, that's me. <mean. laughs> yeah, yeah we, I told you this yeah. yesterday. So, no, apart of joking, it's, it's nice. Uh, we don't see often uh, outside of the track because, uh, especially if we have all our duties, we try to meet for some cycling, which didn't work. Of course, I'm uh, working also with uh, Alfa Romeo Racing Orland in F1, so it's uh, quite a lot of uh, things going on through through the year, a part of the LMS and let's say LMP2 campaign. Yeah, I think uh, also we wanted to meet each other, but with COVID it's not the easiest. And, uh, but we uh, had yeah set to maybe do some carding later on after the season. I don't have much to add on this, I think. But I, I have luck enough that I have good chauffeurs sometimes to pick me up in the airport. Yeah, yeah. Very good chauffeurs, quality. Uh, yeah. I, I don't tip very well, I have to say. Uh, he is, uh... is there competition between us and uh, do we compare performance and, uh, and lap time? Obviously. It's the... uh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, then, I have, uh, then I'm really old. <laughs> 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 then I realize I'm I think old. it's the instinct of all the racing drivers trying to be competitive, but I think it's also good that we try to push each other, each other to improve and to find performance for the team. And at the end, it's uh, yeah competition of all us three which create a good result. Yeah, no competition inside the team itself is not, not like, really there competition, is no, no, no I agree yeah. with you, there is no, no, we're not fighting for, uh, for anything, we all uh, understand each other quite well, but for sure you always look what lap time the other does, but it's not the criteria of, uh, yeah. of a lineup and I think that's what can make us strong sometimes that we know how to raise the hand up and say today is, is not my day. How did it feel to clinch the EMS ELMS title on the home soil? Did you expect to win it with one round to spare? I think it's nice to win in Spa, especially that it, it was the first weekend after, uh, let's say, a quite uh, disappointing Le Mans for us. So it takes uh, sometimes a while and uh, I think it looks much easier from outside than it actually was from inside, no? 
I totally agree. It was a uh, first lot of work and uh, it was obviously we didn't expect it in Spa. We didn't come there with big margin and we played our game and did well, so yeah, we it was not expected. A bit of luck, I think, also on our side at Spa, but that luck was miss missing, you know, in other races. So I think it was, let's say, play, play out fairly at the end. Two months later, how do you reflect on Le Mans? Did you see the ELMS title as a revenge? Who wants to start? I think maybe me because I was in the car yeah. at the time, but... Uh, yeah. Probably it was easier for you. Yeah, it was obviously very disappointing. Uh, we cannot really believe, but you know, motorsport is cruel. And what's good is that we, uh, we knew we had the potential to win, we had the speed, and uh, we have shown to everyone watching the race from, from the world that yeah, we were we were the one, and uh, sadly it didn't happen. But uh, yeah, we just clear our mind and uh, still had the championship to finish in LMS, and then uh, yeah, we managed to do a good race and yeah, clinch the title at the end. So yeah, I wouldn't call it revenge winning LMS. I think we had our yeah. other target, but for sure Le Mans was. Uh... Hard. It was, hard, yeah. was hard, very hard. And to be honest, I still sometimes think at night, like, how the hell can this happen in the last lap of such a race after 24 hours and 58 minutes? It's quite, yeah. But it happened. And it's but like it is. Nice now we have the good view and we're champions, so. No, but uh, yeah, and I, I don't know your feeling, okay, but uh, for me, it was. I, I did lose some races in the last lap uh, already in the past, actually, a win also. But it was not so hard because uh, it was a championship. So you know, in two weeks time, you have another race. And out of 10 weekends, one race you can lose, uh, especially when there is double race. But Le Mans is once a year. Uh, and you know, you, you have to wait another 12 months and uh, probably, or hopefully yes, but it will be very hard that you can uh, win it. Okay, there was many people who won it for many, many, many years in a row, but uh, it's not uh, that it's happening every day, this opportunity, so probably that's why it was. Uh, favorite moment of 2021 season? Ilemes. Barcelona for me. Yeah, probably Barcelona. I agree with this. For me, Barcelona was strong because it was a lot of hard work and we were doubting, uh, big doubts before uh, before the race. You never know, it was the first time, also for us, we're quite a not experienced lineup in, in endurance. And uh, in the end, to end up with a win like this, in this way was uh, very strong. Yeah. Could you tell us about your plans for 2022? Oh, wow, this is not a hard one, this is a boring one <laughs> in the last months. <laughs> well, I think all of us, I think every driver has, uh, let's say, a wish a, a, or the list where uh, potentially he can end up or uh, potential plans. But you, it's not depending 100% from ourselves. I think uh, we talk. I talk for you because I think we are on the same boat. Uh, you didn't answer. I answer. Same copy paste. Copy paste. No. Yeah. 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 Yes. 100%. Thank you very much. We would like to thanks uh, everyone for support uh, from uh, all over the world, uh, especially from Poland, <laughs> China, and Switzerland. Switzerland. Uh, everyone uh, will now say a couple of words in our own language. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Thank Thank you very much for everyone for the doping. And do zobaczenia wkrótce. Pozdrawiamy. Thank you.